common question I often get asked is, Doc, which stem cell treatment do you like best? The bone marrow uh, treatment or the lipoaspirate? Like which stem cells are best? And people are just shocked when I tell them the synovial stem cells are best. So if you go on the internet and you look up articles, you'll see that absolutely the stem cells that grow the cartilage the best are synovial stem cells. The synovium is actually what produces in the joint the synovial fluid. So in other words, after a ligament injury, there's an enormous amount, 10 times or 100 times the amount of stem cells rush into the area to try to repair it. And most of those stem cells are from the synovium because the synovium is right there. Some of the stem cells are from the bone marrow, but the most important stem cells are the synovial stem cells. Then somebody's like, well, how do I get like a lot of synovial stem cells there? Well, the easiest way to do it is to do comprehensive hemohacket prolotherapy around the joint, in the joint, and you can also get those stem cells in there by doing platelet-rich plasma in the joint. So there's lots of people that we save them so much money, you know, just by doing comprehensive Hackett hemol prolotherapy and platelet-rich plasma in the joint, who thought they had to spend incredible amounts of money with bone marrow and lipoaspirate. Because remember, it's the job of the doctor to try to resolve a problem, even end-stage osteoarthritis, with the least invasive, least costly kind of treatment. So before I rush into bone marrow or lipoaspirate, you know, we assess the case, and there are times where those things are needed, but often they're not. And we can just resolve the pain and the destructive joint instability and stimulate the repair of the cartilage, the meniscus and the ligaments, just with comprehensive prolotherapy. And then sometimes we do need platelet-rich plasma.